Busy to Loop, season three, episode 18. Hi, Ivan, how are you? Hi, Paul, very happy to be back. Uh, it's been a, a, a small period of time that we haven't been here at the Digital Loop, but uh, we are back and we are ready to rumble. Yeah, ready to rumble. And uh, so you were on vacation, actually. This is why uh, this uh, didn't happen. I'm about to go on vacation, so we'll also have another two-week uh, gap be, uh, before the next episode. Uh, we're shifting gears as in every episode, and this one, uh, we wanted to talk something uh, that we used to talk uh, probably a bit more in the beginning of uh, season one, actually. So it's been quite a while, actually, when you think about it. Uh, and even before the, the inception of the, the digital loop is that whole thing about social media. So social media is still, of course, going on. It's still very potent, still very active. But there was one subset that was very, that used to be very exciting and everybody was talking about is obviously this big concept of social media marketing. Can you achieve any success for brands via social media? And you found an article that is quite interesting about that and we'll delve into it a little bit today. Yeah, I mean, uh, Mark Sheffer, uh, a great uh, social media expert uh, and a very, very smart guy. You, you should follow him. We're going to put the links to his blog, uh, uh, Grow Marketing Social Media. Um, uh, he wrote a very interesting article about, well, it's titled, Why It Takes So Long to Achieve Social Media Success. And uh, in this article, basically, he, he, he explores the fact that, you know, if you want to accomplish success in social media, basically, the, the name of the game is patients um, and uh, they gave he gives a, a, a chart from a social media examiner in which they um, they uh, made a survey of 4,000 uh, marketers uh, and basically they asked uh, to see what are the, the the expectations when it comes down to social media and uh, very interesting you know when you look at the chart um, you see that uh, after a certain period of time, after one year, two year, three year, four year, five years, you can see that social media is, let's say, good when it comes down to building awareness. But when it, when you compare it with 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 a you know a hard benefit like sales, you can see that there is a huge difference between between awareness and sales. And 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 it's really interesting to see how today most businesses are still trying to focus on 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 the on the quick wins and on on hard results like sales so very often i had these discussions with clients about how come you know we had this campaign on facebook and our sales didn't go up and and very often i think that this is still a mistake that a lot of a lot of marketers are making that they they, they the expectations are wrong they they are trying to accomplish quick sales with social media, what at the end of the day, social media is 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 a, is a great element when it comes down to building relationships for the long term. Uh, so this is something that we wanted to talk about today. Yeah, in, in the same article you sent me uh, because you found it, there there's a a little chart that says you need expected benefits of social media, and I think the first uh, what ranks first is obviously the obvious is uh, awareness. A ninety percent. This was uh, that was a poll that was done through marketers, and I think uh, they're right. I mean. Basically, awareness is, and you're right when you talk about the the, the, the hard one, the hard stuff, uh, which is, uh, for instance, new sales at fifty percent is way less, but it's still a fifty percent. So this is still an expectation that these kind of channels will lead to sales, a uh, sales lead at sixty five percent, for instance. Uh, so, I, it's funny because first of all, when uh, you when you compare these type of numbers to what used to be the case maybe four or five years ago, and even like three years ago, uh, the expectations have shifted, which is finally because for a lot, the longest time there was an overexcitement probably about what was uh, the pot potential of, of social media. People were like, oh, social media marketing, social media marketing, and build a relationship and make brands human, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but it, it has been proven since then, of course, the landscape of social media has changed. I mean, we've seen the rise of Facebook that is all encompassing and some of the other tools are, are less potent probably now since Twitter is a bit on a, on a, on a stagnation, for instance. Uh, but the reality is that it seems very hard to achieve. So maybe these expectations have shifted, thankfully, but also these expectations for me are still probably too high. I mean, for me, reading that uh, there's an expectation of new sales by 51% of the uh, people being polled here is almost too high. It's, uh, it's when you read the uh, current numbers and you see that brands like Coca-Cola, for instance, uh, Coca-Cola has this huge 
massive presence on Facebook, which is a very the very potent network nowadays for social media. They also are a very well known brand, so you know they don't need to acquire a brand name, and also they have a lot of budget as well to play with, and still. Uh, the numbers prove that they can only reach a very, 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 very tiny subset of the people that follow them, and of course, the friends and friends, etc., through uh, through advertising on, on on Facebook. So, it shows that if a brand like this can actually make it extremely successful, how can a more minor brand, uh, no disrespect by saying minor but not as big, make it? And that's why uh, probably the like you, you mentioned, Ivan, the, the expectations have shifted over time because they realized, like, well, we had a dream, but that dream was just that a dream. Yeah, I mean, again, I guess, I, I guess here is where we're going. Uh, we're getting into the problem that, as, as Mark also mentioned, is in the in the in the article, which I totally agree. Uh, the problem that many businesses are uh, comparing social media marketing to advertising, uh, and and of course, advertising works. Uh, when it comes down to you know you 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 make a campaign you take an uh, advertising a promotion and hopefully this is gonna you know have an impact in the short term. However, when it comes down to to, to social media, this is something that is long term. So the problem is that we are trying to 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 compare you know apples and oranges. We we try to make something on social media that is gonna have a quick result and. Uh, and although you know we talk about this, there's still a lot of people that are expecting that. Uh, so I think it's a, it's a mistake uh, uh, that goes deeper than just having big expectations on your on your activities, but actually a, a, a lack of understanding that social media is fantastic when it comes down to building relationships for the long term. Uh, he he put it in a very nice way that I, I wanted to quote him. Uh, mention him how he says that. The, the immediate be benefit of social media is awareness. Awareness leads to engagement, and engagement over time might lead to trust. Now, it's not until you get to that point that you see cash coming in. And I think that's a really, really important element that you know marketers and business business people need to understand. You know, until you have earned people's trust is when you're gonna start getting, you know, the the the, the opportunity to okay go for the sale and 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 you know putting funny posts or 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 or, or interesting engaging catchy uh, memes on your facebook uh, uh, page yes my 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 bring some some eyeballs to your page but it's not going to earn the trust and this is something that you need to really focus if you want to get sales leads from your social media marketing efforts yeah, but I'd go even further because uh, though I, I agree, when you compare the conversion rates of social media with other channels, uh, digital online channels, whether of course it's search, whether it's CPC, whether it's video, of course, uh, or or other, you see that social actually is not really high. Uh, you see that email, for instance, is very big in terms of conversion. When you send an email to someone, although maybe the younger generation doesn't use email, but they will have a very a much higher conversion rate. Same when on CPC, organic obviously is the highest, and social is tiny, tiny, tiny. So meaning that sometimes the amount of effort that is being given to social media is probably, again, still a bit of a dream, way too high compared to what it actually achieves. And uh, there was actually a, a blog post that was quite interesting that I just thought about, Now I was looking for it, maybe you saw me on my screen on um, Googling it, it was Ogi Ray wrote uh, uh, an article that's called uh, uh, Burn It Down, Start From Scratch and Build a Social Media Strategy That Works, where he actually goes into that kind of, 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 of thinking. He says, look, we've been given the dream. We thought it was actually working. But if you look at the actually raw data and the numbers, especially in conversion, et cetera, it just simply doesn't work. It's not the dream that we were expecting. And you have to... Uh, Stop uh, thinking the way you, we were thinking because we didn't have enough data back in the days. For instance, uh, I think he mentioned, or maybe someone else, because I've read many articles when this was published, I think it was last month. Uh, it says that you still have uh, uh, consultants, et cetera, that will go and say, you have to put like four times a day a Facebook post, for instance, with content. 
Well, if nobody reads your page anyway, and if you're not a big brand, is that really necessary to put all that effort in putting four times a day some content online that nobody will actually read? Would, wouldn't be the effort, uh, especially when you have a limited marketing budget, into doing something else? That's, I'll put also the link of that article. It, it, it's a bit inflammatory, but I think it makes a lot of sense. Uh, I, when I worked with, uh, with Canonical to launch Ubuntu Phone, it was a two-year project, and we worked on launching the phone. We, I mean, of course, we had to have patience because that takes a lot of patience. But as well, we have to align our 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 our, our, our expectations to, to the actual reality. Is that you? I cannot suddenly decide that oh, you know what? I'm just going to talk about a cool product online and on social, especially, and people will just come. It just doesn't work that way. And another thing I would say, I'm sorry because I'm rambling, is that when you think about how people react to advertising and brands in general, if you look at television, people more and more use DVRs. I mean, the, the possibility to basically fast forward the, ad the advertising, I use that every day. Or, or even you don't even use it because you use Apple TV, Netflix, and other channels. The same thing happens online. You, more and more people are using ad blocking, uh, uh, actually, iOS 9, the new um, the new OS for iPhone and iPad that is coming next week, will have actually an ad blocking. It's not ad blocking, but will allow people to block ads directly. So there's the, the the kind of expectations that people love ads and that people will react to ads and convert, and also people will suddenly be more loyal because they see an ad from you. I'm not even sure it has a lot of legs. Actually, I don't know if you agree, uh, Ivan. No, I totally agree. I mean, I mean, we're going back to again this 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 mistake that that marketers are making that they think that it's all about uh, it's about you know yes, content is important and yes, uh, many for many many years we've been talking about inbound marketing about you know creating uh, relevant, valuable, interesting uh, content that is findable and 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 and, and searchable. So when you're looking for for information because you have a problem, uh, it's it's findable. So you can uh, you can you can find it on through through I don't know, Google or through through different search engines, and that is shareable because the content is so interesting, so uh, fantastic, so so nice that you want to share it with your with your friends uh, through social media or email or you know just tell somebody about it. Um, and at the end of the day, I mean this is the core of most of the activities that we're doing. The problem is that again we're coming back to expect. Expectations. We see people thinking that you know you start a blog and how come after ten posts uh, I don't have you know hundreds of, of of followers or how come you know I'm putting a lot of stuff on Facebook and I only get you know ten likes and 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 it's interesting when you when you talk with clients because the the level of expectations are really wrong and I think very often the mistake comes from agencies. For many many years I had the opportunity to work with different agencies uh, that that. You know, very often they overpromise, and they put the focus on the wrong things. You know, when you talk with 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 agencies that they they well, the marketing director wants a lot of likes, so basically they just try to get as many likes as possible. And you know, six months down the line, they look at the at the at the progress report, and they are like, okay, we had you know x amount of likes, but we want more. So what do we do to get more likes? And then you get the whole you know creative team trying to come up with with funny cool, uh, uh, you know, ways to get more likes, when at the end of the day, it's all about business, you know, basically, you know, uh, digital programs, social media marketing programs that are not focused 100% on business objectives, uh, they are going to fail. I mean, one of the things that I always talk about is, you know, you, you have the primary objectives and you have secondary objectives. Secondary objectives could be the likes, could be getting more followers, could be getting more views on your videos. But if you are getting more followers and more likes and more views, but it's not moving, it's not having an impact on the bottom line, you know, what's the point? And at the end of the day, all your activities need to lead into some, you know, business objective. And, and, and this is something that, again, business marketers need to really focus on. But you remember there was also this thing where we used to talk about how, uh, and my cat is making some rumble behind me, you can see that for those who are watching the video. Uh, 
those those were uh, we, there were terms that were talking about earned media, owned media, and paid media. There was this big thing, and the earned media, which is what you talk about. I'm going to put nice content, and people will actually because they're loyal to me, because they like me, they will actually come back to me. Uh, that's a bit also of owned media. These two ones were always kind of bit uh, uh, together. But I mean, when you look at it right now, especially with the, it's more and more and more difficult to 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 pass through the noise. You can see that on Facebook. If you have a page, so much information in Facebook that we throttles in a way. And it's not bad. I'm not accusing Facebook of doing that, by the way. It's just that there's so much noise. It's like I, I don't accuse uh, TV makers or, or like Netflix to have to, to have created a different model to watch content. So I, I'm not accusing Facebook of doing that either. It's just that uh, at some point you have to pay for it. And this is where I start to, you know, so it becomes paid media. You have to sponsor your posts. You have to make advertising in a certain in a certain way on Facebook as well, and on Twitter, and on Instagram. Now they've launched your ad program, and et cetera, et cetera. The, the the thing is, is that it's becoming. You know, there was this dream. Marketers said, "Okay, social is one uh, silo, if you want." Although we don't like silos, and you know, ad advertising is not, and I, I, it is another, and. Right now, I'm thinking: Should we should brands just not, you know, give up? Not give up social, but just say, you know what, merge is to uh, hand over the budget of of social towards advertising because it's become advertising. And the other thing you mentioned, you mentioned, you know, creating cool con cool uh, uh, content, content that people will like, and it's true, it works. But it's very expensive because most of brands that you might have actually seen and worked with, uh, Ivan. They will say, yeah, well, I will do some quirky contents. It will work. No, it won't. Uh, if you look at the actual funny content that is being created by brands, it is quite expensive to do. Uh, it is not only to do, but then also to promote because it's engineered. It's just, just you just don't put it out there on a YouTube channel and wait for it to happen. It just doesn't happen if you don't promote it. So this is this comes back to my earlier point in my previous ramble is like, how much do you think, uh, you know, is it is the, is it the is it worth the effort? You put so much money in trying to create content, that money to actually sponsor that content, wouldn't that actually money, if you compare the ROIs, be better in trying to convert in other channels or simply to actually do advertising? I'm not. I don't have the answer. It's just a question that I, it's a rhetorical question. I put that out there. It sometimes feels that some brands will think, oh, I'll put a few a few uh, quirky content per day on on a Facebook page. And that will uh, be enough. And then, obviously, like you say, they arrive at a point where they're disappointed because they're not reaching the height they were thinking they were reaching. So I'm not telling people to abandon social media marketing. I'm just saying to maybe realign the expectations and know that there are also other channels. So uh, I, I don't know if you agree with me on, on this, Ivan. No, I totally agree. I totally agree. I mean, and, and this is something that it comes down again to managing expectations and actually educating yourself or educating your clients in case of agencies. Um, for many years, we saw the, the rise of the social media agencies, you know, agencies that they just focus on putting your content on Facebook or managing uh, your communities, you know, the whole community management. Um, when at the end of the day, you know, this is something that many businesses are starting to realize that, you know, managing your community, you know, getting an agency to do that uh, might not be the best thing because, you know, you need to have people that actually are are uh, uh, knowledgeable about your brand, knowledgeable about your products, that really understand your customers and understand who you are. Uh, and, and maybe having an agency is not the best way to do it because at the end of the day, who's going to know better your business than yourself? Um, then again, you know, having the opportunity to have people you know, building these relationships, uh, it takes time, you know, having having social media programs and expecting, you know, conversion, high conversion rates and sales and everything. Yes, it's doable and it's possible. And there are many companies that are actually making great, great results when it comes down to, to uh, leads development and, and business development through social media channels. But again, we're talking about big budgets. We're talking about uh, a great uh, strategy. We're talking about a, a great marketing strategy that is working together with everybody across the organization. It's not just, you know, the social media team in the little corner, you know, putting stuff on Facebook and Pinterest because it's not just Facebook. They're putting stuff everywhere. So, so again, it's not just about the tactics. It's not just about the, the, the funny, cool, 
videos or, or, or images or Instagram photos. It's about you know having a solid uh, business strategy and understanding how can you can reach uh, uh, your users, your consumers, your customers uh, through all these different platforms. That's I, at the end of the day. I, what I, I agree. I would add one thing that was the other probably dreamy thing is that people thought that uh, people would love to talk to brands. And I'm not actually sure people like to talk to brands. They like to see nice content, but they're interested in their product. This kind of thing that, oh, uh, you know, brands are is a friend of mine is not exactly true, I don't think, which is why I think, honestly, it's a bit uh, it's a bit failing. But uh, again, it's possible. There are there are a reason to do, you know, social. Uh, probably it's, you know, we, we you said, Ivan, many times, and I said as well that, Everything is becoming media, so basically, probably you have to treat these channels more and more as media. The the media buying team, the same that would buy advertising on television, could be the one that actually uh, also works the same way on, on Facebook and other networks. I mean, it's it's a very long topic. We don't have the right the, the right answer. I would I would uh, probably say that one uh, cool thing you can do if you're into social media marketing, it is just something you try to understand. I mean, we'll put the articles that. Ivan uh, found and the one I just mentioned from Ogi as well here. Uh, there's a YouTube channel by uh, Jan Rezab, my good friend there, that's called, I'm just looking at the screen, the Social Media Minute with uh, Jan Rezab. So he's the founder of uh, Social Bakers. Uh, I think he's now stepped down He's the chairman, he's not a CEO, they hired a, a professional CEO. He does uh, one minute videos about social media, they're very nice if you're into this. I mean, it's not something that's totally my specialty, but it's really good to, to listen to this great content. Uh, so I'll put the link. I don't know if you've ever seen them, uh, Ivan. Yeah, yeah, I've seen I've seen the the, the videos and, and and well, social bakers has been developing great great content for a long time, and this is one of the reasons why they have built such a strong presence online. They are doing you know interesting, relevant content again, you know valuable content. It's important, uh, but they know that it's not about putting two three infographics and getting ten clients just because of that. So so yes, a, a very good recommendation. And uh, well, uh, we use social media as part of our efforts to to connect with you and to and to have this uh, uh, presence across across different channels. So uh, this is the time that maybe we can invite you to if you if you want to connect with us, you can check out our our presence on Facebook, on Twitter, uh, on Google Plus. Yeah, Google Plus. We are still there. <laughs> uh, and 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 you know. Reach out again. Social media is fantastic when it comes down about you know market research, uh, collaboration, uh, building relationships. So if you if you want to connect with us, you can you can find us online. And uh, I don't know if you have any comments or questions, also reach out. We love to hear from you. And uh, well, I guess that's that's it for today. Do you have anything else you want to add, Paul? No, I just want to say goodbye. Bye, Ivan. <laughs> All right, Paul. Have a great day, and uh, until next time. Until next Ciao. time. Bye, guys.